hashtag was pop and thank you for starting into our DMs. Hope you all had a wonderful Friday, but now let's take a second and see what skills Mr. Ross has. Mr. Ross, you're going to do a poem about weave. You got to be careful every day at school because the weave might roll the way the weave. I looked up and down. I seen weave to the right. I seen weave to the left. All I know, it's on the ground. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ross. Okay, we're going to give you another topic. Do one about South Tech. Just South Tech. I came to school late that day. I seen three students. They all wanted to play. We're all in South Tech, and we said that day, you're an A student, so just don't go away. So my kids stayed in class and learned that day. Look at them. They all got A pluses. That's the way. I got the one over here with an A, B, C. I took out the C and the B and gave her an A. That's why she can just jog away. <laughs> okay, that has been Bars from Ross. Thank you, Mr. Ross. That was fire. Yes, that was. But now let's turn down for an interview with Mr. Salas about dress code. Every day, many students get pulled aside by administration in regard of what they are wearing. In our point of view, lots of the times it's about things of dress codes that have very little importance. So we sat down with some staff members and asked them a few questions. Why has there been a change in the enforcement of the dress code, such as joggers and leggings? Well, what happens is in the past few years is that the dress code itself has never been enforced, so what we're trying to do is actually enforce something that's part of our, the rules and guidelines of our students, the student handbook. Why is it prohibited to wear knee shorts? Knee shorts are not to be worn due to safety. We have different academies that involve high you know, maintenance or working with heavy duty tools, so that's why. Now, it's in the works. It has come up we may allow it for a couple of weeks and see how it works. Remember, you can run, but you can't hide, at least not forever. Mr. Venezia, Mr. Venezia. Yes, go ahead. We have a 1738 in the hallway. 10-4, on my way. <laughs> Um, she's out of um, dress code and a pair of pants, please. Ma'am, can you sign here? purpose like let's take a look at these videos and see what some of our core classes use it for hello I'm here with Miss Salah, Miss Aguera, Miss Tina de la Fe. do you use Remind 101 Edmodo or Edmine I do I use all three of those I do I use all three of those it helps my students stay connected and get their assignments they can do it online or turn it in online and it helps them um, stay current with their grades a great way to stay connected with my students as well as uh, maximize my time. Do you prefer to use visual technology such as iPads, projectors, and YouTube? 
Absolutely. I try to incorporate as much technology in the classroom as possible to prepare students for their futures in a very competitive world. Definitely, I feel that all students learn in a variety of ways, and the more of their learning modalities that you can appeal to, the better the lesson will be. So instead of just talking to a student, if you can give them a visual or an audio or even a tactile or kinesthetic experience that helps them move around, uh, use all five of their senses, including visual, I think that increases their learning potential. I do. I think the, the visual is a, a good element to bring in the kinesthetics that the students also need to try to maintain that information. Do you believe that technology would be efficient in schools in the future? Absolutely. Through proper funding, we can definitely um, increase technology in the classroom and put it to good use. I think technology is extremely important because most of the occupations will be tagged or related some way to technology. It's critical. The world is a world of technology, so students need to be comfortable, they need to prepare, be prepared, and they need to be masters of technology if they're going to compete when they go out into the world of work. I guess that was educational. It was very educational. Have you ever seen that, uh, What You Said? I think so, what's it about? Um, here, let's watch some clips of what it's kind of like. How many states are in the United States? 51. Uh, what is the capital of Africa? Jamaica. Zimbabwe. <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> Zimbabwe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Close, close. I don't know. No. I don't know. Zimbabwe? Africa. I don't know. <laughs> Zimbabwe. Seven plus six is twelve, or seven plus six are twelve. It is. 12. Neither. Is. Wait, I'm sorry. What? Seven plus six is twelve, or seven plus six are twelve. Is 12. Thank you for tuning in this week. Oh, um, stay tuned for more next time. And next week. And the next week after that. Yeah. <laughs>